Hello everybody, welcome uh, to my uh, first new video in the new year. I uh, hope everybody had a really uh, great new year celebration. And uh, I want to give you an update on, um, I'm going to be changing a number of videos I'm going to be uploading on a week to week basis. Um, last year I was doing two videos a week. And I'm going to be changing that to just uploading one video a week. Um, the reason is, it's just that um, I kind of able to do the two videos a week. It's just that I, I feel like this year I want to work more in terms of um, concentrating on my health. And, uh, and I'm going to be probably undergoing a new treatment. And that's going to be putting me out of commission for a bit. So putting two videos a week is kind of difficult for me. So I'm going to be um, just doing one video a week. And uh, I may start to uh, also uh, supplement that by doing live streaming down the line. Um, that's another thing. Uh, what kind of topics do you want me to talk about uh, in my live streams? If I'm going to be start doing in, uh, in the stable future. So let's uh, leave a comment below uh, on the type of topics you're interested in talking about. Either you want to talk about tech or you want to talk about, you know, YouTube, um, you know, um, you know, health-wise, um, you know, any uh, topic that you could think of, you know, leave a comment, and uh, and I could sort through it and uh, give me ideas of uh, what type of live streams I'm going to be doing uh, down the line. Um, I haven't uh, decided just yet, but um, I just want to gain some, uh, you know, some feedback from you uh, before I uh, go in into it head first so um, let's start this week um, video uh, we're gonna do a tech tutorial and I'm gonna be showing you how to do um, blending and transitioning effects um, using GIMP uh, to apply to your pictures so uh, let's uh, get started okay uh, let's get started Let's uh, create a new image. Let's go with the user size of 1280 by 720. And let's fill it with a black background. Now let's open a few pictures uh, to mess around with. Let's open them as uh, layers. So let's select all of them. Finesse layers and these pictures are downloaded it's kind of big so let's uh, resize each layer to a height of 600 Last picture I'm going to resize it to a little, little smaller than the other two. So I'm going to do 450. Alright, um, let's put this image in front of the other one. Right. And let's move it uh, to the side. Okay, what I mean in terms of transition effects is to take one picture and slowly transition it into another picture. Um, you could do this either across or from top to bottom, um, depending on what direction you want to uh, apply the effect to. So to start off, we need to add a layer mass. Now I have utilized this effect uh, in my um, YouTube banner video. If you want to uh, check that out to see uh, how I apply that effect, you could uh, click the link and go to that video. So let's start off by uh, adding a layer mask. 
and then selecting the granule tool keep it at a linear shape and basically you want to start the effect is uh, you start the line where you want the effect to start and you stop the line where you want the effect to end so let's just say we want to start the effect from here and we want it to end all the way here and just let go as you see the um, picture kind of slowly fade into the other picture now you could make the effect even shorter like if you want a more clean cut line you just make your line shorter so just do it like this and you see the line is a little more clean cut also you could apply this effect diagonally as well so you start from here and you could go all the way diagonally and the effect would work diagonally like so now also there's um I'm gonna show you a couple of blending effects one of the blending effects is you want to kind of blend in a picture into the background sometimes like you don't like some pictures it would look good if you just have it in a frame and but there's other pictures where you want to put in like you want to kind of blend it in the background and give like that kind of uh, like a dreamy effect I guess you would call it so what will you do is um, you will add a layer mask go with the uh, white capacity and you will select a shape um, either ray dial will work uh, if you want your um, to kind of cut off the edges uh, make it more of a elliptical type of blend uh, or you do a square where only the the, the size will fade fade into the background so we want to do it in the, with a square shape being that this is a rectangular uh, picture and we want to switch it to uh, the background color white because we're going to start from the center and we're going to pull our way out so we uh, start from the center and we're going to go all the way out and let go as you see the edge is now faded into the faded into the, the black background and it's only the center is shown so now you can make uh, the center more lighter by uh, making your line a lot longer so I'm gonna pull my line all the way out here and let go and you see it's a little more lighter now okay let's bring the eagle to the foreground let's uh, make it trench Let's just get rid of that black background, add an alpha channel to it, and use the magic tool, select it to black, and just delete that. And let's put the eagle all the way over here. So you want to uh, blend, like you want to see the back of the picture coming through the eagle and you could utilize this blending effect by you know like I said add a layer mass like capacity change it back to black foreground go with the linear and you would just select the edge of the corner and you just go up and you see the the face of the eagle is still there, it's just that now you can see the back picture coming through. And this kind of effect is pretty cool. From my perspective, I kind of like this effect and I utilize this in a lot of pictures. So, alright, that's, uh, that's how you do, you know, transition effects and blending effects. If you have any questions on, on this tutorial, 
please leave it at the comment below and um, you know subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos uh, hit the notification button to get notified for uh, new videos that is out and um, I want to uh, wish everybody uh, have a nice day and uh, I'll see you on the next video take care